might be a bit difficult for someone who is, uh, I guess the politically correct term is technologically challenged. <laughs> uh, people with, with lower computer skills that it might might take them more time than is really necessary to, to go through the material. If they have trouble, you know, remembering a login or how to navigate through the website, even though, I mean, for, for people of our own generation, it's fairly, it's, it's essentially second nature to us. Yeah, for me, it, I gotta say, it went, went off pretty much without a hitch. Uh, yeah, I would say <clears throat> a lot of students uh, go to blended learning uh, courses thinking that it's less work. It's less work because there are fewer classes. So uh, it's not that at all. If, if you're approaching a blended learning course thinking that, oh, it's going to be a breeze, I usually attend 12 uh, sessions, now I only have to attend six, and the other six, you know, I'll, I'll just sail through them. It's not going to be like that. The other six sessions are going to be actually more work uh, because you're, in, you're on your own, you're doing things independently. If you need help, you're pretty much approaching uh, your instructor or your peers online. You might not be in contact uh, with anybody physically for that week or between those two weeks before you have, uh, like between those two in-class sessions. So um, never approach a blended learning course thinking it's gonna be less work just because there are fewer classes. Um, I would recommend blended learning courses depending on what these students um, study habits are, I guess, and depending on the course content. Um, if, uh, if the student learns best by hearing the information from a professor, then maybe a traditional course might be their route. If they can read something and they can self-teach, then maybe blended learning might be their way because um, they're able to self-teach when it comes to the online sessions. I, I wouldn't recommend a blended learning course to someone who is not motivated because with a blended course in the online sessions, it requires a lot of motivation because you are constantly needing to check your computer, your postings, and reply. So I would recommend a blended course to students who are motivated, organized, and willing to learn because with the blended courses of the online session, there's supposed to be a lot of engagement and conversation. So if you're not one to, who is motivated to read to postings, to respond to postings, then it affects everyone else's learning experience. So if you're going to post two hours before, then that won't help to the overall class learning experience.